We still have shit to do today. And that being the case, I want to give you motherfuckers all the crypto news that's fit to pop. Let's take it down to Whale Street. Hell yes. Oh, what a great fucking bumper, man. Uh, guys, yeah. all kinds of shit has happened out there in the fucking crypto market this week. We are behind on posting clips about it, but it continues to be volatile, to say the least. Coinbase revenue tripled from last quarter as crypto prices skyrocketed. God, ain't that the fucking truth, man? You know? Damn. Yeah, man. That's true. That is very true. I wish it was more fucking <clears throat> noticeable in the price of the Coinbase stock, oh, of which stock. I own yeah, one man. share. You know, it'd be nice if that fucking mm. tripled, too, but that ain't the goddamn case, man. Not happening. Yeah. What are you going to do? Nonetheless, what I will say is analysts are saying crypto exchange is well positioned and continue a strong growth trajectory. And I think that that's accurate while a lot of kind of lower end coins their value is based on how how much they are used within the market to buying and selling at any one given particular time there are several coins especially that we invest in here that have some actual backing to them so if even those lesser things can stay on a growth pattern because more and more people are losing their trust in traditional currencies and looking to crypto as something to deal with for a long position uh, mm -hmm. uh, I think it's reasonable to think that you're going to see excellent growth there over the next several years. And this first year we've been dealing with it so far has been a, a pretty good example of. Now, what I will say is this. You don't necessarily have to be backed by anything to go big. Coinbase reveals Dogecoin bombshell as Bitcoin and crypto price fears grip the market. If you don't know already... That goddamn Doge has been going crazy the last few weeks. Yeah, it's man. All up and down and place. up and down and up and down. All over the fucking place. Very man. hard to predict recently, but it has mm. been extremely volatile, which leaves a lot of openings to make big money. And Coinbase is about to uh, offer that as something you can trade soon, which may be interesting to look at, particularly considering that apps like Robinhood uh, often limit the amount you can trade it. But then... You got a motherfucker like Elon Musk, and can I just say they always pick the best file photos for him. Yeah, he looks like the dog. Yeah, right? You, you know, know what he I looks mean? like one of those Shiba Inus this or whatever it gonna, is. This, this guy's going to send a fucking mining rig all the way up to the moon to take Doge to the moon. He's crazy. He's gone wild. His girlfriend had to go into fucking... Had to go into the hospital because she did so poorly as Peach, who was not actually Italian on SNL, and now this dude's flying crypto coins to the moon somehow. It doesn't make any sense, but it does mean that there's a plan at play. You think this is all random? This shit ain't random. You think that when Elon says this and that and a fucking particular coin tanks, you think he doesn't buy the shit out of that coin as soon as it happens? If you need any more proof of that, Dogecoin reveal... Devs have been working with Musk since 2019. Yeah, you don't say. No you know kidding. what I mean? Guess who the world's largest holder for that crypto probably fucking is. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't mean Definitely. it hasn't been making millionaires recently. Goldman Sachs manager quits after the amount of money he made in Doge. This guy works wow. for fucking Goldman Sachs and he said, fuck this shit, I'm out. You know? <laughs> He did, mm. man. I mean, uh, you got to follow the money, man. And when you're in money and you do that, I mean, that kind of leads lend some credence. He made to the cash there. and I mean, he got the fuck out, dude. He made his mm -hmm. cash and he fucking bounced. I don't see anything wrong with that. But it's at all levels, man. Look at this guy. Meet the Dogecoin millionaire is holding on to his bag. This guy's in it for the fucking meme. He's got uh -huh. enough to retire and he don't care. He wants to hold the line, you know? And that's fine. People want to do that. I would probably take the money at that point myself, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Particularly because I if agree. you continue to hold on to it, bad things can happen to you. And guys, I'm sorry. Generally, I don't like to put headlines on this show that are misspelled, but I'm going to make an exception here to make a point. A uh, woman forced Dogecoin millionaire to ejaculate inside her at gunpoint. Again, if you don't sell your Doge when you're at that profit point, bad things could happen to you. And for a second time, I apologize for the misspelling in the headline of this article that should say R-A-P-E. But recently, yeah. mm -hmm. 
A yeah. lot of people have been concerned about the potential <clears throat> uh, ecological impact of crypto, particularly Bitcoin and other cryptos as well. And so people are looking to find more energy efficient ways to mine and come up with coins. As you know, some of us are involved with Pi. That's been a little bit of an interesting adventure, but that's not the only one out there. Now there's some shit called Chia. Chia oh launches. Ch -ch 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 -chia. That's right. Chia launches an energy efficient token, and here's how it works. I'll tell you how it works. The security is less. So you come that's how it works, uh, basically. Okay. That's, that's essentially they what's going on. Cutting corners, essentially. That's yeah, right. Here's nine things yeah. you need to know about Chia uh, as they search for the blah blah blah. Here we go. We'll read a couple of them. Chia is the crypto of the Chia network, so they have their own network, like Stellar does. That's good. This is a blockchain platform set for smart transactions. They're also looking to shorten the amount of time it takes to do international transactions. That's a plan. Founder is so-and-so. He invented BitTorrent. So this guy has oh, some idea. Guy. Yeah, he's a head pirate. So he might have an idea. He might also be trying to do something illegal. So take that yeah, with old, a grain of salt. Blackbeard himself. Yeah. Yeah, right. Other major names. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Here's people that invest. I don't care about that. Chia points out that its blockchain network is powered by the first few Nakamoto-style uh, consensus algorithms since the launch of Bitcoin in 08. And that's a big part of what we want to look at here. A consensus algorithm instead of a verification algorithm means that they cut corners and they put trust into blockchain. And isn't that the whole point? You're not supposed to trust anybody. That's what makes it secure, dude. Zero yeah. trust. Everything has to be verified. They're putting that I'd away. I put a uh, picture of Phil taking a picture of Gatsley Sneeze in the fucking Metro. If you guys oh, I, see, I uh. see the diagram. That's excellent work. But, you know, people love to look at this and go, oh, it's better for this and that. Yeah, on that scale, but not on the personal scale. Chia crypto mining obliterates SSDs in a matter of days. It makes solid state drives outperform. So no matter what you try to do to mine it, you will burn your drives up. Don't do it. Yeah. I may not be your financial advisor, but I'm telling you right now, don't mind Chia. Don't do it. It'll fuck your shit yeah. up, man. Oh, so it's that's, more, for the uh, environment, that's more like an IT advice, you know? It's great yeah. for the environment because your fucking machine shuts down. So all I'm saying is when yeah. you hear all this hype bullshit about this coin and that coin and this bad that are going this week, all I'm saying is make sure to remember your long positions because y'all already know what my advice on this is. Buy Stellar. Mm -hmm. Bye Stellar. Yeah. Bye -bye. I, By the I way, Stellar at 72 tonight, if I'm not mistaken. 73. 73. Right now, Can I, dude. Before it we end. Up, it, it passed I, 74 I for up, a second there. Unbelievable. I set up the uh, auto pick on Stellar every 15 days with Ed. Mm -hmm. Man. Oh, it, it's that's nice. the long term. It's, and it's of the course, long term. We are yeah. not financial experts or your financial advisor. This is all for entertainment purposes only. We are our animated ghost and fish. And of course, none of the uh, things that we say should be taken seriously Boom. or as financial See, advice. See, he's got it right there, man. <laughs> what I will say that's is going this. In the clip. Before we <laughs> end this segment, actually, Dual Will, let me just tell you guys just a little quick tactic that i fucked with this week just a little bit made me in a little tidy percentage i think it could be a usable tactic i'm sure i'm not the first person to think of this uh but i just wanted to pass it on to you guys to give it some consideration it can be a little bit tricky but it might be usable so this week as you might have seen earlier stellar spike to a level of 52 this week and on a spike not on a steady climb it went pow seven like 75 even right and at that point when that happened, I took a very large percentage of my Stellar Holdings, not all of it, but I took a big percentage of it and I converted it to USD coin, which is a stable coin that stays at exactly $1 per coin no matter what happens, which is also available on Coinbase. So I did not have to leave my existing wallet or exchange to do this. I sold that Stellar or converted that Stellar USD coin at 72 this week. Knowing that a spike like that would cause a big drop right after, and then I took that exact same amount of money and just reconverted it back into Stellar at 64, friends. So I made myself... That's the way to do it. I made myself 13% minus the fees on a trade that cost me zero dollars. Now, it's That's a little bit fucking it. risky. <clears throat> 
But it's something to keep in mind. So like I say, even though I'm not your financial advisor, if I was, my advice to you would be to buy Stellar. I'm not a criminal. I'm an artist working in an unpopular medium. Can I just speak to you? I mean, really speak to you like man to man. I've known you for a long time, William. And I know about your penchant for spying on women.